guys, this is Stephanie with Lice Advice. I am trying to teach you everything you needed to know and didn't need to know about lice so that you can ward off an infestation if your child is ever faced with this situation. I'm coming to you from my West Hartford clinic today and um, although we've shown you how to check your child's head for lice and we will be doing more videos on that. Uh, today I want to focus on nits, what they look like and what they don't look like because many people don't know what they're looking for even once they do conduct their head checks. So that's the focus today. Uh, if you like what you see and you want more information, please click the subscribe button on the bottom right hand side. It's a little louse. And um, we can also sign you up to receive free lice alerts if there is a lice outbreak or super lice reported in your area. All you have to do is enter your email address and your zip code and you can subscribe to that in the link in the notes below okay so let's get started one thing i suggest always using when you're doing your head check is a white paper towel and you want to spray it with a little bit of water and you're going to wipe your knit comb on here and let me show you what I i'm back so i have all my tools ready and i'm going to link some products in the notes as well um, if you need to pick these tools up but we're going to use um, a detangler on our hair we are going to use a good knit comb like this one and notice that the tines are really nice and tight and you need a metal knit comb not one of those plastic ones that come in the treatment boxes those really don't work um, this is a rat tail comb and this is going to be used for parting the hair when you're doing your visual check and this is a detangling comb depending on how long and tangly your child's hair is um, you may need to use this as well uh, i also have what's called a loop here and this is to magnify what's on the paper towel nits and lice are so small um, they can be minuscule and very hard to detect with the naked eye so you really do need something to help you out whether it's a magnifying glass or something like a loop um, i also have my microscope so that I can show you some really big blown up images but keep in mind if you're looking with your naked eye or a loop things are gonna look a little bit differently okay uh, we are getting more into the process of the head check in other videos so I'm gonna keep this one to knits and what they look like and what they don't look like okay so let's talk about what nits don't look like. There's gonna be a lot of things in your kid's hair uh, or whoever you're checking and you may be confused. So for instance, this right here, that is not a knit. That's some fabric or fiber. It could be off clothing or off bedding and that is standard, typical stuff that you'll find in someone's hair. This is also nothing to be concerned about. It's barely visible. It's kind of, uh, doesn't take a, a, any kind of distinct form. Um, this could be just skin or scalp that we've combed off. Keep in mind when we're combing the hair with this fine toothed knit comb, we need to really be scraping the scalp and that will often exfoliate the head and skin and debris will come off. Uh, so this is also nothing that we're concerned about. This however, and I know I'm gonna be more excited about this than you are, this is an actual knit. So notice how this definitely looks like an egg. It's the shape of an egg, and it looks like it has a little bit of a tail on the end of it. It's not actually a tail. What that is is the knit glue that came off when we were combing that knit out. Lice secrete a glue and actually cement those eggs onto the hair, or else if they didn't do that, every time you washed your hair or combed your hair, all the eggs would fall out and then we wouldn't have these problems that we have, but we do because lice are aware of this fact and they just know how to keep their, you know, the eggs from dying and falling right out of your head. So they secrete a glue and they glue those eggs onto the hair shaft. That's what a knit looks like. Uh, this knit, it's a little bit old because we've had it for a little while, so it's very dark in appearance. They may be a little bit lighter, but they're really always gonna have the same form. Um, it's got this bubbly little cap on the end. This is called an operculum. And this means that this, if it was found in someone's hair today, this is a viable knit. We call it a viable knit, meaning that it will hatch. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any damage to this knit. Um, and if it was left in the hair, it would hatch. 
It cannot hatch once we pull it out of the hair. Nits cannot hatch at room temperature. Um, they won't do anything. They won't, you know, the, the operculum won't flip open. Nothing will happen. Uh, once we pull the knit out of the hair, it's fine. And something else to remember is you can't catch lice from coming into contact with the eggs. So, you know, this is just good for you to know, only with the live bugs. This is another knit. And again, it's that same egg-shaped form, and it also has the little end of the glue that was pulled off with it. Um, now this knit is a little bit different. Notice that this knit is a little more clear, um, and there is no cap. There is no bubbly cap on the end. Instead, it's concave. Uh, that could be because that cap hacked, it, it opened, and um, either the nymph, which is a baby louse, crawled out and into this person's hair, or it could be that that is actually dead, the nymph is actually dead in there. Lice will lay both fertilized and unfertilized eggs, so although some will hatch open, nothing will come out, sometimes they will be born dead, um, but about 77% of the eggs will hatch that have been laid. And lice lay eggs twice a day, about three to five at a time. So they can lay up to 10 eggs a day in your hair. We'll get more into myths and facts and fiction in another video segment. This is another hatched knit. This is another hatched knit. Again, you can tell by that kind of concave end to the knit. This is another hatched knit to the left. Let me try and zoom in and and then this is nothing. This is like dirt or glitter we find a lot in people's hair. If it's a summertime, you're gonna find a lot of sand. And this again is a hatched knit. So hatched knit, concave ending, much more clear body because it's either hatched out or is dead inside and has never fully grown in. And then let me go back to this is a viable egg that if we had left in the client's hair would hatch or if you've left in your child's hair would hatch again once we pull it out of the hair there's no chance it can hatch because it can't hatch at room temperature okay and then one more image i wanted to show you is um, an actual knit on the hair so i always tell my girls when i'm training it's just as important to know what a knit on the hair looks like and feels like. So can you see that little knit right there, this little bump on the hair? Um, if you were to slide your fingers down this hair shaft, it would not easily move. This is actually stuck, again, glued onto the hair shaft. You would either have to use a knit comb, such as this one, to pry that knit off of there, and then wipe it on your paper towel and look at it, or in instances where I see a knit visually upon my visual check, it's just as easy to pluck that hair out of the client's head or that you're child's head and then um, you know you want to inspect it a little bit closer now we'll look at this knit under the microscope my microscope went off here it is okay and so that's what the knit again looks like when it's on the hair shaft and it's magnified um, I also want you to see what it looks like if you were to look yourself so it's very tiny right Something like a Carson loop is really helpful when you're looking at these things because it will magnify the image. I'm not sure if you can, you'll be able to see that, probably not, but it magnifies the image and it makes it a little bit bigger. Um, let me see if I can magnify these guys and show you a little bit. It's not as great as looking actually through a microscope, but who has a microscope at home? I mean, trying to get you nice and close so you can see, but not having much luck. So, I mean, you will be able to see better if you're using either a magnification device or a loop or something of this nature, but um, to see these guys with your naked eye can be challenging. Um, and these are just taped to a piece of paper. So if you liked what you saw and you want more information, please subscribe to our channel and we will get you some more content. If you have any comments as to what else we could be teaching you that would help you in your day-to-day -day life, 
and to keep you guys lice and knit free, please let me know and I will look into making those videos. Thanks.